look at porno. That's what? all you fucking wait, wait, do. Wait, 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 wait. My what? It's in your history. How do you get off that? How do you how do you <sighs> stop right. doing that? You know, because <laughs> my I had um because I, I would I would watch it openly. I would never hide. I would watch it. My wife would come in. What the fuck are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, you know, and uh, and then when he was expressing that, he was hiding. I said, "Why? Why did he hide from it? You know, no. I hide, you know? See, my see, ma'am. Let me tell you something, man. Mike, huh. I knew I had a problem, dude. I was like, because you know, the thing is, people say, "Man, look, pornography. Hey, man, it's natural. Like, you know, I'm a man, so no, it's I natural." Think, I don't know. No, that's interesting. I have to comment on that. But that's, that's what people say. They say it's natural, right? Because um. I don't know because that make I want to do weird stuff with my wife. My wife thing looks at me weird sometimes. Yep. I want to do some weird shit. You yep. know what I mean? And I guess that freaked out a little bit. Yep. I tell you, stop watching. It stop watching because I know she stuck. And I guess my my son or somebody one day came by, look, used my phone, saw porn on the phone. Yep. And shit. So yep. I, I just had to stop. We got really out of hand. It, so it, dude, stop. first of all. And it, I got tired of fuck. My dick was always scabbed up from jerking off. Always <laughs> the skin off my dick. Yeah, right. it, my skin is all peeled off, man. I fucking can't fuck. Can't do nothing. Ah, you took ah, it's all sore. Hey, hey, man. Fuck. First of all, listen. You'll never. There'll never be enough porn to satisfy you. Fuck, yeah. There'll yeah, never man. be enough. It's not healthy. Yeah. It's not. Fuck, hey, man. Yeah. Look. There's never enough. Yeah. I remember, like, man, you you could spend three hours looking for the perfect oh, image. Yeah. It's real dark. It's you really see somebody crazy. smacking somebody and wait, choking somebody. Oh, then, yeah, I saw and that then, that like, oh, then you feel like, whoa, whoa, did I watch that? Did I was I a part of that? There's because so much you watched it. Shit out there. And listen, and it gets darker somebody, and darker. And darker. I, I try to stay off of pornography, man. That's one of my biggest arch nemesis is <laughs> uh, pornography. Why? Because it just weakens me. It Does just, it? yeah. How so? I put all my sexual, you know, my fantasies and stuff, they're not mine anymore. You know, they live, you know, somebody created them better than my imagination can. And so they live in these, you know, on the internet in these boxes. And it's like, and if it's not mine, I think, then it's, I don't value it as much or something. And so I think it, it like weakens my ability to like be able to have sex and like be comfortable in that sort of world. And Really? Oh, yeah weakens your ability to be comfortable like how so well because i get used to watching the sex and seeing it and not having to like be engaged with my actual feelings or anything so then i see it and i still get all the joys out of it you know i'm still out there e-jacking and you know <laughs> spraying right. out natural spraying. but it's I don't get any, I don't have any of the feelings attached to it. So then when I am engaging with somebody that I care about or something, it just doesn't calculate for me emotionally as well. First, personally, my attitude towards pornography is that I have to be cautious and abstinent of it in general because uh, I've had, like I believe sex addiction is a real thing because I've experienced it. And I think pornography, I mean, there's sort of serious scientific evidence around uh, what, um, pornography does to the brain. Check this shit out. Heroin addicts often claim that shooting up feels like an orgasm. Supporting their experience, ejaculation mimics the effects of heroin addiction on the same reward circuit nerve cells. Specifically, ejaculation shrinks the same dopamine producing nerve cells that shrink with chronic heroin use. Now, I've been a heroin addict and not necessarily, certainly I've had issues around compulsive sex and looking at porn, even when I was very, very young, before having any sort of sexual relationships. I would assume at first glance that young people having access to abundant porn is not a good thing. My assumption would be that it's objectifying, uh, ignores and eschews the sacred aspect of sexuality, that it, there is much in the world of pornography that is transgressive and not in a progressive and positive way, but in a kind of objectifying and humiliating way. I think that pornography generally commodifies sex, commodifies human beings, commodifies, well, I would say, women in particular. Now, like, I know people that work in porn, and uh, I wouldn't, you know, like to prescribe to them that a particular type of morality or you shouldn't be doing this job or whatever and there's lots of interesting stuff like John Ronson's work around pornography and the community that exists in amongst uh, the adult entertainment world but speaking from the perspective of an addict I feel that pornography is a, dangerous 
I think it's a dangerous thing. I think it, like there's you know some serious evidence that young people are suffering from erectile dysfunction. That's not like a made up thing as a result of experiencing a, like an unnatural amount of erotic and not even erotic pornographic imagery that prevents you. In a sense, it's the commodification and uh, consumerization of sex, turning sex into an absolute commodity, turning human beings into objects. This cannot be spiritually positive. Me, as an addict, I feel like, a, you know, if you play a computer game for too long and then the real world looks odd, if you watch too much pornography, clicking through videos, staring like a lifetime's worth of naked humanity in all manner of positions that they're ultimately in because they're earning money from it. You know, like there's not, the, the amount of porn that already exists and yet more. Like for me, Playboy, was my gateway into full-on pornography addiction. My dad had a Playboy left out at age five, and it's affected almost every choice mm. I made for the rest of my life mm. from age five to now having to kick the habit. And it just presents itself in the open, like it's okay. And I stand up and say, you know, it's not okay.